Tell me, Witcher. You don't believe in destiny. Or the lesser evil. What do you believe in? What is a Witcher? White hair. Big old loner. Two very, very scary looking swords. I know who you are. A Witcher is... A mutant, and their trade in particular is monster hunting. The Butcher of Blaviken! You are almost universally hated by every species on the continent. It's unlikely you're going to have a cheery personality, but Geralt himself, despite the stony exterior, is actually quite good been very capable of doing bad things. Geralt isn't simply a white knight. He isn't simply a harsh monster hunter. He's an incredible blend of the two. The rumors about witches are that they don't have emotions. You take no prisoners. So I hear. And that is perpetuated by them. Sometimes there's monsters. Sometimes there's money. Rarely both. When they're created, they undergo alchemical trials, which is a combination of elixirs and magic, which have very aggressive effects on their bodies. This allows them to take various potions. These potions enhance them in various and different ways. The signs that witches cast, they are basic magic, but very, very effective. You often see this very dry humor come through, which is one of the more charming aspects of Geralt. You smell of death and destiny. It's onion. Right, yeah. Destiny is one of the major themes which is a force which is controlling him and indeed the world around him. Geralt aggravates destiny. He doesn't believe in it. But it turns out there may be a little more to it. Find her. But Geralt's greatest strength is his capacity to still love despite having retreated incredibly harshly. Despite what he says, he still believes in the goodness of people. And you couple that with incredible sword skills, speed, agility, and endurance, then you have an interesting character. Do you know how many people wouldn't blink if you died? You lie, you keep secrets, you succumb to emotion, to weakness. Do you actually have what it takes? Yennefer is in a constant battle with herself. She had a really tragic childhood. A place of frustration, rage, confusion. She was born with a deformed spine and jaw abnormality. And because of that, her father resented her a lot. How much for this beast? Six. Four. So, four marks. That moment sets up the whole of Yennefer's journey. Just because you are conduits of chaos does not mean that you are capable of magic. That then became her life. <laughs> Who's next? However, she is never satisfied, always striving for something else. She owns her sexuality and uses it to manipulate people and get what she wants. Yennefer of Vengerberg. My world is cruel. You enter, you survive, you die. She presents a certain version of herself, someone who's direct and in control, dangerous. The arc that she goes through is an incredible challenge. No! She longs for this connection, but that fear, that insecurity feeds this chaos, this magic that makes her incredibly powerful. She's epic. What more do you want? 
everything. Here's your first lesson. As in life, it is impossible always to be fully prepared for battle. Keep your sword close and keep moving. There's something special about this girl. She's very loyal to the people that she loves. She's built a heart from it, but just hasn't had any experience in the real world. All she's known was a sheltered life as a princess and this very secure network of people looking after her. At least you didn't shit your cacks. She's very relentless, very stubborn, and she's also very naive. I think she just wants to make sure that she doesn't get trapped in that box. Would you honor me with the dance? Martin. She'd love to. The typical conforming life of a princess. She wants to kind of break free from that but she suddenly gets dropped in a very brutal world. People are after her it does become something very scary. Lesson number two, know when it's time to stop moving. She loses everybody she's known within one night. A huge theme in The Witcher is the loss of family and the search for family. If that's the last words that her grandmother have said to her, it means a great deal, and I think that's what keeps her determined to continue on. That's all she's got left to cling on to. It does mean a lot to her, but she doesn't quite know yet what it means. Being a princess doesn't matter anymore. She just doesn't know where to begin. Be careful, child. This isn't safe if you're alone. And it's the same as every other place. I've heard tales of your kind, Witcher. You're a mutant. Created by magic. Roaming the continent. We don't want your kind here. Hunting monsters. For a price. I thought you'd have fangs or horns or something. I had them filed down. <laughs> People call you a monster too. Why not kill them? Because then I am what they say I am. All of our choices draw our destinies closer. Come. If he is out there, there is still hope. I have to find Carol to reveal. Don't judge me. They say witches can't feel human emotion. What do you believe in? Break the sun. Evil is evil. Break the sun. Lesser. Break the sun. Greater. Middling. In me. It's all the same. Princess Cirilla. Your destiny. I can't protect her. If you dismiss it, Girls! you will unleash true calamity upon us all. I'll take that chance.